We had a mission to create an institution where leading scientists, young promising men, would come to work for us. And along came Sidney Korob, and in his foresight, he said, we're going to create for you a research center. That research center was the foundation of our medical school. I met Sidney Korob, as a matter of fact, 33 years ago. He was very interested in my archaeological research uh, in the Negev and in uh, Sinai. Whenever it was related to the Bible, he was really excited. Thanks to the commitment and support of Sidney and Elizabeth Korob, David Ben-Gurion's vision for the Negev has been realized. Today, Ben-Gurion University of the Negev is a world-class institution at the forefront of cutting-edge science in fields such as solar energy, biotechnology, and international medicine. When you're a dean, you meet a lot of people, donors, and then some of them are rarely are the ones who really become personal friends. And Sydney was just one of those. Ben-Gurion University Medical School is now known internationally, not just for its community work, but for its medical research as well. And none of this would have been possible without the initial center created with this great insight by Sidney Korob. The Korob family immediately understood the importance of investing in young researchers, opening doors that broaden their experiences. I am happy to have this opportunity to thank the Korob Foundation for the support it gave me. It was a critical support that enabled me to go to NYU to participate in an innovative workshop that contributed greatly to my research afterwards. Thank you very much. Proud Zionists, the Korobs were attracted by the university's commitment to Jewish values. Once we were digging a major site not far from the Suez Canal, and to our greatest surprise, we realized that two communities lived there happily side by side, a Jewish and a Christian community. And the best testimony for this was the discovery of oil lamps with very typical Jewish symbols. And next to them, we found oil lamps with Christian symbols. And when I gave Sydney one of those oil lamps to look at closely, I watched his hand. His hand was trembling from a, uh, excitement. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev fondly remembers Sydney Korob with his vision and support that made the desert bloom. I will still remember uh, Sydney vividly with a warm smile, understanding, sensitivity, and vision. So here we have a really unusual individual who has done so much, not just for the university, but for society as a whole. He was a man of impeccable integrity, a real human being, a real Jewish heart. His memories will stay with us for many years to come. Sidney Korob, a friend indeed.